everyone I'm on a roll with videos today so I'm sorry if you keep seeing the same shirt background etc um, I'm here with Abe's two week breastfeeding update he's actually only 13 days today but I thought this was important enough to touch on um, for his two week you know, like just to, to do it before so we I'm pretty sure pretty sure we're off the shield so it's been about two days I think I used it night before last in the middle of the night and that was the only time we used it because he was being lazy but otherwise both sides he's latching um, he is um, he is still a little bit like frantic with his latch um, and it takes him a good five to ten seconds to he latches on and it's a tiny bit painful but then he'll like correct his latches he's as he's sucking and he almost never has to work a lot for let down just maybe one two sucks and I have a let down he's ready to go so there's that I did post a picture of his frenulum on Instagram so obviously I have a gap and I have a, a parent lip frenulum up on the top but then this is all gum um, which is why I have a gap. My daughter has the same thing and Abe has the same thing. I posted a picture because he has, they thought he had a natal tooth, I think I mentioned this, which are teeth <laughs> when you're born. And um, so I posted a picture on Instagram because you can see the shape of his teeth under his gums. They're not, they're not coming out yet. They're just really apparent and really shiny. And people were kind of freaking out about the, his frenulum saying it was like a super tight lip tie, which it does appear to be a tight lip tie but it's not painful like besides like him correcting his latch and floor had the exact same thing and it is how his um the structure of his mouth is so even if that was clipped he would still have this big piece of gum that extends here all the way down be behind his teeth that are going to make a gap like he has a gap he doesn't have a gap because he has a tight lip tie. So I'm not concerned. And plus my doctor is also um, an IBCLC uh, lactation consultant. And she's asked me previously before, like, have you noticed problems with her lip tie or her, like, frenulum? And no, I haven't. No supply issues, nothing. I think four is coming. Um, so I'll post that picture. But I'm not going to get it clipped. I'm not going to get it re revised. We don't have problems. He just has a place where it's tied. Not painful or anything. And then his gum. Um, so I wanted to touch on that because I was kind of like a small bit like concerned because people were saying, oh, it's a really tight lip tie. But now thinking about it and looking at all three of our teeth, me, Floor, and Abe's, knowing that that's just how it is, like, we've never had problems with supply or gaining weight or anything. And if it does become painful, I obviously will tell my doctor. Um, so there's that. No pacifier, no bottle. For the least the last three, three days, the bottle he has not had since he's been home. So I think that has significantly impacted why we were off the shield. Um... I don't, I don't know if I've really been tempted to use the pacifier. Floyd did for a little bit when she was 12 weeks or so, but I think it was teething. But she was not a big pacifier user. But now I'm super skeptical because of his extreme confusion between nipples. So um, he's pretty much able to settle himself. Um, either we're holding him or if he's in the car, he does fuss a little bit if nobody's, you know, he's in the car and nobody's like able to soothe him but I don't think that we need the pacifier right now so that's definitely not coming back until we are well 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 established with nursing my supply is crazy I'm trying to wean off the pump slowly but I am like engorged in the morning and engorged in the evening pumping t just twice a day um, the other day night before last I got 10 ounces in one pump between both breasts and I'm only, I was only like 10 days out, 9 days out, something like that. So I really don't want to deal with an oversupply either because that would not be good. I have a ton of milk since I came home and then milk from being in the hospital. And 
Um, I really wasn't planning to pump with this child. I was looking forward to not pumping. I had to pump before because I was working and she didn't take the bottle very well so I ended up donating a lot. I'm not sure what's going to happen with this. I'm going to donate it or use it later or what but um, I don't regret pumping. Obviously I'm going to pump for him like if he needs it and I had to pump with him to establish my supply before um, but it's so annoying. <laughs> Props to the um, ex uh, exclusive pumpers. Um, because washing parts and washing bottles and labeling milk is very annoying and I'd rather not have to deal with that and just nurse my baby because I don't, I'm not working and I don't need to pump. So we weighed him the other day and he was up to 8 pounds, 13 and a half ounces, which was great. He was discharged at 8.12 and I feel like he's had a growth spurt over the last 36 hours at least. So we're only weighing him when we give him a bath, which is every three days or so because he doesn't need a bath very often. So couple days we'll weigh him see what he gained maybe he's up over nine pounds now his Franklin his newborn clothes are tight because of length not because of width really right now but yes we had our real first um, public nursing yesterday took him to mass for the first time and um, he was fussy at the beginning and had to eat so went fine like he was crying and I was alone because I take the kids by myself but it was great so I really I really think that's it now um, so if you have any questions let me know otherwise I will if there's not significant change I will see you in a month or a couple weeks for the month breastfeeding update thanks for watching bye